Welcome back everyone to our playthrough of the career mode here in NASCAR Heat 2. So we come off a, a race that was a lot of fun in Phoenix. Just missed a top five finish coming home in seventh. So now with our first short track race of the year, we go right back to the big tracks with the two miler in Auto Club, California. So once again, this is going to be very fast and should be fun. Of course, it'll all depend on the setup and how fast do we want to be, how loose do we want to uh, to make the setup, or I guess I should say how much of the push are we going to take out of the car is probably a better way of putting that. Uh, that will determine how much speed we have. This track can be run all but wide open. Uh, essentially, you need to give it a little bit of uh, breathing the throttle on corner entry on both ends, but essentially you spend most of the time wide open. Now, I do not plan on us doing that during this race because I would hope that the setup would not allow that. I would hope that the setup would force us to do quite a bit more lifting than that, but I guess we're about to find out. All right, before we hit the track to start the race, let's take a brief look at the setup. And again, nothing new here. Uh, we're going to keep the same front springs of 700 and 900 pounds just because of how bumpy this track is. So that will hopefully keep our teeth from chattering quite so bad and getting motion sickness as this car jumps around uh, on the track. So hopefully it'll help us out a little bit with that. Uh, other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Only 50 pounds of rear spring split. So this thing should be really, really tight. Let's go ahead and get started. green flag here in California. One of the things that will be interesting is the gearing. I did not change the gearing at all. Well, let's see what we've got as far as speed here. Ooh, watch out, these guys are really slowing down. And of course, I would love to use the high side, but I'm just a little worried right now about using the high side uh, coming off the corners. Again, no practice laps, no qualifying, so I literally have no laps on this track right now with this setup. So I'm trying to see, and right now I can't even remember what my setup was like uh, that I published on. Ooh, watch it! Uh, that I published on the the website for this track, so I can't really remember. How close we are to that how much rear spring split I had what the the track bar settings were and I sort of do that on purpose because I don't want to get into trying to make it look too much like what I post because again that would be way too fast at the vast majority of these tracks all right right now wow at the end of two laps we've passed half the cars uh, I'm not sure we are definitely turning some RPM. That's one of the things I wasn't sure about. All right, really bumpy down here in turns one and two, but with these shock and spring settings, it's not really much of an issue. All right, we continue to make up spots. This actually worries me a little bit. Remember I told you, you can run this track extremely hard. Uh, it is very, very fast and close to wide open, quite frankly. Uh, even in a cup car and the fact that we're passing this many cars this quickly we've got 26 laps oh my goodness somebody just drop kicked us in the corner I think it was I think that was Truex wow well that was interesting Oh yeah, we're definitely tight. Trying to get this thing to rotate, but still, even as much as I had to slow down, we're still right in tight on these guys. Now there's lots and lots of, of room to race here. I mean, there's what, four, five, six grooves available at this track, which fortunately in real life, these guys use the whole thing. what we've got for these guys heading to turn three. I'm going to get out of the gas really early. 
these guys are way up the track. Which again, in real life, wouldn't be that big of an issue. But we all know the AI in this game have tons and tons of grip and can make whatever groove work they want to without losing any additional speed. There we go. Let's see, Kurt Busch still gets a good run on us. All right, I like to see that. We're up to sixth, so we're very, very close to the front of the field. Ooh, please don't slide up in front of me, though. So, yeah, plenty of room for me to run out here. Of course, they're going to have the draft. Let's see if I can get down close enough. Elliot to get a little bit of his draft. Let's run all the way to the top. See if we can help the car maintain speed by doing that. You can see we're definitely gaining on these guys coming off the corner. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got a nice run up top. That white line at the bottom down there is basically just a suggestion because there's no reason why you can't run right down to the grass. All right, so we make the pass. We're up to fifth, if we can hold it. Kurt Busch doesn't appear to be going anywhere. All right, I was going to try to arc it right there. I just could not get the car to rotate because what I would like to do is stay right out next to the wall all the way until the point where I want to lift and then turn, try to get the car to rotate, get down as close to the white line in the corner as I can. And then hammer the gas and carry as much speed as humanly possible off the corner. Now that works great with an open setup, but with our science project, it is a little bit more difficult. Let's see if I can do a little better job this time. All right, we got down to the bottom. Ooh, it is really tight though. Okay, had to get out of the throttle. Still got a nice run on Keselowski through the corner, though. See if we can clear him. Yeah, my brain is remembering what I can do with the open setup at this track and how hard I can run it and, and which grooves to run and all that kind of thing. But then my eyes are telling me, nope, the setup is not going to allow that in this car. Yeah, just really tight coming through there. Oh, I should be able to peg that throttle. All right, but either way, we're up to fourth. And I can see the top three right in front of me. So now we're going to see if we can run those guys down. We've got plenty of laps to get it done. We'll have, I believe, 16 to go when we come back by this time. There we go. Oh, just trying so hard to get this thing to turn through the center. That may be about all I've got through the center. definitely running these guys down. You can run it really hard into turn three if you want. I'm trying to sort of ease into the corner a little bit more. Yeah, we've, for all intents and purposes, we've caught these guys now. Same thing in turn one. You can really drive this thing down in there. Oh, she was turning there, but then the 48 brought that to an end by coming down right in front of us. Good move on his part. Right, let's see what the 18 does here. We're going to back off way early and try to leave room for him. Oh, turn, turn, turn. All right, so we make the pass on the 48. And looks like we're going to be able to get up next to the 42 as well. Wow, this is very early in the race for us to be making moves like this up at the front. 
It's not a good sign. All right, here we are, just me and Bush for the lead. I did not expect this with the setup we had. Well, these guys are way off the pace. Because this is a lot slower. Again, I don't remember lap times with setups. I just remember how the car handles. Uh, but this, this car feels a lot slower than what it should be at this track. Again, I'm having to get way out of the throttle. And the center of 1 and 2 is just killing me on speed. I'm having to back way out of it and stay out of the gas a lot longer than I would like. And yet I'm still able to hang right with Kyle Busch. Same thing down here in 3 and 4. Let's have a little fun. Let's see if I can get up here to the top. Get the car to turn enough. That's what's great about a track like this. So wide. It's not a whole lot of banking. You know, obviously much less than somewhere like Atlanta or Charlotte. And really, the lesser degree of banking is what really helps in widening out the track here. Get that wider arc going through the corner, allows you to carry a lot more speed. So Kyle Busch doing a really good job. Unfortunately, we put a little distance back to third. But of course, any mistakes between the two of us up front, and they'll be right back on us. He's going to come right back down the track. Right, let's follow him down the back straightway and see what we've got going through three and four. Now, I plan on going high. So he can feel free to take that bottom all he wants. Yo, really tight, really tight. Let's get right back up to him. All right, of course we have a terrible angle going into the corner here. Let's see if he can hang with us because I lost a lot of speed through there. Ouch. A little love tap for us. So apparently he wanted to run a little lower on the track. Alright, we know the AI like to run a little bit higher groove through here anyway. Oh wow, and he gave up that easy. Yikes, I didn't think I got through three and four that well at all. Alright, so we've got the lead and nine laps to go. Now let's see if I pull away from him. Oh, just cannot stay in the throttle. Alright, so so far he's right here with us. Which I like. Oh, that's pretty good turn three and four right there. Alright, whoa, he fell way back in turn three and four. I saw him slip up like he was going to try to get under us. And when that didn't work, he lost a lot of time. Alright, let's pull up the leaderboard. He is now a full second behind, and you can see he and Jimmy Johnson are right there together. With Larson being right there nearby. Let's see how that changes as we continue to run laps. Alright, I don't like, I was actually hoping to see him get a little closer to me. Get up here on this high side, have a little fun. Man, it is so fun. 
higher you can run on the track, the more fun it is. All right, you can see these guys closed in. They're back to, they picked up a couple of tents that lap. All right. That looks like they're running side by side. That's not going to help their their lap times any. All right, completely out of the gas there, going into three. Almost begging this car to turn. So basically, they're holding their own. I'm not pulling away from them, but they're not exactly getting any closer to me either. Completely out of the gas once again. Trying to get this thing to turn. Alright, so far so good. Looks like we're going to be able to make it through the corner without having to lift again. Alright, yeah, if I run it like this, then I'm picking up more time on them. Of course, again, it doesn't help anything that they're fighting with each other right now. Alright, yeah, turns one and two are a lot of fun when you're running an open setup. Again, by open I mean whenever you can set up the car however you want that feels best for you. No restrictions like we're using here in the career mode. When you can do that, turns one and two is a lot of fun because you can get through there really fast if you hit your marks just right. And it's so wide. I mean, it's very easy to hit your, your mark. But look at all this room when you come off the corner. It seems like it ought to be extremely easy, but to go as fast as you need to go, it is not. Alright, you can see we've stretched out the lead quite a bit now. Basically double the, the lead that we had. Oh, watch out. That's what I get for taking my wheel, the hands off the steering wheel. All right, so we're coming up on the lap traffic, but we're not going to get to them before the end of this race, so that's that's a good sign. I'll take that. And I would actually, I would love to turn up the race distances here, but this is the kind of reason why I don't. It's hard for me to find a balance. I mean, we're having a hard enough time finding a balance that will not allow us to get out front and do what we're doing right now. And of course, if we were running even longer races, then we'd be looking at a lot more time on the track and we'd be looking at a lot more distance between us and the rest of the field. So I definitely don't want that. so there we go we'll come home about two seconds in front of second and third place our third victory of the season all right so we finished again about two seconds ahead of second position And this should get us up to, there it is, over $11 million, almost $11.3 million in our bank account. And now a much larger lead. So now we have, at this point in the season, we have three victories. Kyle Busch has one. Jimmy Johnson has one. But again, if, as you look down the top 10 list, no surprises there. These are the type guys that you expect to see 
running at the front of the pack. So we'll take home the trophy. Gotta love that surfer truck or van, however you want to call that on the trophy. All right, no surprise, we had the fastest lap. And we'll head back to the main menu and we'll see what's next on the calendar. All right, unfortunately, we did not complete all of the incentive contract goals. Oh, well. Hopefully we can survive and find our way on to the next week. All right, let's see what we want to do here. So, uh, let's just go for the most expensive one. Wow, $896,000. Yikes. Oh, and it's time for Martinsville. Oh, boy. There are a few things in racing that are quite as unique as a race at Martinsville. If you get out of Martinsville without some donuts and some dents in your fenders, then you either weren't racing hard or... I don't even know how you do it at Martinsville. It is, whether you're in the front, middle, or back of the pack, you are constantly in traffic and constantly beating and banging with the other drivers. But, of course, that will be in our next video. For now, thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more NASCAR Heat 2.